bring together creative people, put them in a really stimulating work environment, expose them to some real world issues. That's what the port association does at CERN in Geneva. And one of the most interesting projects developed at the Hackathon organized by this association was on body bags. We are Team Body Bag and we're trying to come up with body bags that solve some of the current problems that standard body bags used in the field today have. So some humanitarian organization mentions that the rapid decay of bodies in case of conflict, disaster or epidemics is a real issue. And this team comes up with the idea of redesigning the body bag. Um, so what we're looking at here is something a bit um, maybe uh, out there in terms of trying to create a body bag or a system around a body bag. And you, you'll have noticed the use of this sort of shovel and this is a sort of high-tech equipment, but to reduce um, contamination, especially when you look at current events like, like Ebola, but also um, other infectious diseases like tuberculosis and, um, and blood-borne infections. We've also been working on ways to stall or even at least slow down decomposition within the body bags. It sometimes happens that body bags explode or at least leak gas because of the decomposing body inside and when that happens in the presence of an infectious agent it can release highly infectious aerosols that really increase the risk of contamination so we've been doing our own experimentation on ways to keep bodies fresh in body bags would you like to see them so here we have our control with just a simple vacuum packing system uh, you can see that the fish here is um in okay state. The idea is that if we remove oxygen, we'll slow decomposition by agents that require oxygen to metabolize the body of the fish. Here is a version where we're, at, we're using vacuum and salt to preserve the fish. The vacuum removes the oxygen and the salt removes some of the water by absorbing it. The less water there is, the harder it is for bacteria to decompose. Moving on to this one, we have a super absorbent. It's um, a cellulose-based compound that's found in diapers often. So here we combine that with the vacuum to also absorb the water. The, our biggest challenge is if you have a disaster area, how can you get the vacuum done? That's true. We thought about foot pumps, electricity, we can't assume it's there. And we figured that before somebody goes and has a medical, uh, mechanical vacuum, whatever. We have one uh, manual pump in the ambulance. So creating a vacuum alone slows down decomposition. But how, if you're in a conflict zone or in a disaster, do you create a vacuum? It appears that the fire brigade, that the team had the intuition to ask for help, had some solution for this. We've identified problems such as risk of contamination, high costs, what others, Jessica? Uh, data, the lack of uh, data. Um, 38 million people um, out of the 56 that um, currently die every year in the world are registered. Um, the, the, the reason why this lack of, of data around death and, and dead people is, is a huge problem because it's the information about why people die, where they die, that, that influences public policy, that, that says, um, you know, infectious diseases are more important than non-infectious diseases or that uh, those kinds of, of issues that, that determine what countries, how countries act and how uh, international NGOs can support countries to, um, to improve the, um, the interventions that they, they make. Innovation is not just important for multinational companies or startups. It's also of huge importance for humanitarian organizations. And who would have thought that within one weekend alone, a team could come up with a new design of the body bag? We're already looking forward for more projects like this at future hackathons.